Combat. A lot of games have it, in some form or another, and is generally a big part of the gaming experience. Combat can be done in many ways, and each style helps to find a game and make it stand out. For me, one of the most important parts of any strategy game is combat. For a tactics game like mine, I think there are three main things that a good system must do. It needs to have a variety of unique actions to allow a range of strategies, action effects and side effects must be clearly identifiable, and the state of all important elements like players and enemies must be visible or easily discoverable. While today, it's all about setting up a foundational combat system that's going to make it easy for me to create a wide range of actions that will give players a lot of variety without being overwhelming and confusing. Let's get started. When a player looks at the game, they should be able to understand what is going on, or be able to easily find out what is going on. So if a unit is hurt, maybe they're hunched over. If they're poisoned, maybe they're tinted purple or have acid bubbles floating off them. Or if they're on fire, they're on fire. Now the game isn't at a point where it has these crazy statuses, but what it can do is make sure the information a player needs to make a decision is available to them. So to do that I made some info displays. When a player hovers over a unit, it will give them a brief overview of all the important information. Now, currently that's just health, but there's space for me to add more elements to the display in the future. I also put together a much nicer action selection and moved it to the bottom of the screen. Then it was time to make it all look a lot nicer and cohesive. I fancied it all up a bit with some art from the same wooden UI package from the original project. One of the things that always bugged me from the previous version is that I had these placeholders for the unit icons but never actually did anything with them, so I made sure to not put it off this time. I created a photo shoot scene and posed the characters, then I made a context menu function to convert the camera texture into a PNG, and with the circular frames, I think it's looking pretty good now. A lot of classic strategy games like Fire Emblem and Advance Wars all have a top-down view to show the map, but then transition to a separate, more detailed screen for the combat. I wanted to implement something like this for two reasons. One, it looks cool. And two, it makes it easier to handle the battle animations and effects. I don't need to worry about how to shoot an arrow from one tile to another while making sure it doesn't clip through any other objects. Since the two characters face each other, it makes it really simple to control and fine tune. It's also important to note that not all actions take place in the arena. For example, the move action wouldn't work because it changes where the actual object is on the grid. So I added an option to let me choose whether an action should take place on the grid or in the arena. It's a small addition which just gives me another layer of control. I've currently got it set up to show the two different screens, one for the attacker and one for the target. I might change it to be one long screen in the future, but for now I'm happy with how it looks. Currently, actions can only do one thing, and it's either move or attack. So let's change that. I started off with a push action because I thought that would lead to some fun choices, like being able to push an enemy next to another to line them up for a cool AoE attack. I had to add some new movement conditions to make sure there was a target and a valid space for the object to be pushed to, but thankfully that didn't cause me too much pain. Then I decided I wanted to have some complex actions that have multiple parts to them. My solution to this is what I've dubbed post actions. Basically it's a second action that can be triggered after the initial action is finished. I queue up all the actions and execute them in order, which works really well and leads to some really cool chain reactions. It's also easy to expand on. I made a double attack which hits an enemy twice, and then I made a triple attack using two double attacks chained together. Finally, to add a bit more variety to the levels, I created an explosive barrel. It only has one HP, but when it dies, it explodes and deals damage to all adjacent tiles. I used my new post action system to create an explode action which worked great, and in the process I've learned how to make AoE attacks, so I'll be adding more of those in the future. When a player goes to make a decision, we want them to know what the expected result and side effects of that action are before they actually make it, so they can weigh up all their options. We want the cause and effect of every action to be really clear and obvious. For example, if I was a player and I hit this barrel and then died because it exploded, I'd be pissed off because how am I supposed to know that would happen? But if I highlight the tiles that are affected by hitting the barrel, a player can understand the consequence and choose whether they want to go ahead with it or not. And yes, ideally I'd just have an info pop up for the barrel too, but I haven't got that far yet. I also added it to the new push action. If I said you just push the enemy, what does that mean? How far does it move? But if I highlight a tile behind it, it helps convey where the target is going to be pushed to. This allows me to more easily help convey what actions do without needing a giant wall of text. And that wraps up everything for my brand new combat system. As I said at the start, there were three things I wanted to get out of this combat system. 
easily accessible information about the world, clear cause and effect of actions, and a variety of options for a player to use. And I think we checked all of those off. Players can easily check the status of units through info pop-ups, affected tile highlights help show what each action does, and post actions allow for more complex attacks. Plus, a new battle arena and a fresh coat of paint on some of the old UI helps bring it all together. This was a challenging task getting everything to work with many, many revisions. And that's on top of accidentally wiping my progress on GitHub. But I've got a sturdy system that gives me a lot of customization to flesh out some of the more complex gameplay in the near future. And on top of that, I'm really enjoying the new look I've created for it as well. That's everything for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. It would really mean a lot. And I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers, everyone.